Three more schools canceled classes today because of HVAC issues in Wake County. Good afternoon, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young. Almost every day this week, multiple Wake County schools sent students home because of excessive heat in classrooms. CBS 17, Sonica Bargo joining us live right now at one of those schools, Holly Springs High School. Sonica. Bill, Liz, yeah, Holly Springs dismissed at 1115. You can kind of see there are still buses lined up in the parking lot. We've seen a handful of them leave, and we've also seen multiple cars driving in and out to pick up those students. Now, like you mentioned, this is the third day in a row that some Wake County schools have had to send students early home early because of those AC issues. Maintenance staff at the, at the school district has told us there's about $150 million worth of HVAC needs that the district still needs. And at the current rate they're spending, it could take 14 years to fill all those needs. Right now, the district spends about $22 million a year on their HVAC systems. And we have reached out to Wake County School District to find out what measures they're taking to deal with these issues they've been having and the extreme heat that we're, we've been seeing all this week. And we're just waiting to hear back from them. Now, this is one of three schools dismissed early today. Rogers Lane Elementary dismissed kids at 1130 because of AC issues. And Green Hope Elementary just dismissed their students here at noon also because of similar AC issues causing problems with, of course, the heat that we're having. So for now, live in Wake County, Sonica Bargo, CBS 7. News. And like you said, Sonica, it's going to take a small fortune in order to correct all these problems district wide. Thank you. It takes some time as well. Oh, yes. Yeah.